Right on. Uh, this first song is called Vampire. It's off our uh, EP, which you can stream now, that came out in uh, October 
So let's get our goodbyes right out of the way. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Man, it really feels like there needs to be a roaring audience just like, woo, yeah, that was great. Excellent job, guys. Um, just so you are aware, I did get a text from a listener during that segment who uh, who uh, used a few uh, explicitives to say how much you rule. So <laughs> they really were digging it. Amazing. All right. Toast so... <laughs> Little Super Dangerous, you guys are a relatively new band here in Calgary. And I say relatively new um, just because, you know, there's been a whole pandemic that slowed things down for a while. Um, and, you know, some people might have have a bit of time trying to get back to the live music scene. But nonetheless, you guys are here. And uh, the, I guess the first question for you is, how did you form Little Super Dangerous? Well, <laughs> how did we form? I guess I met uh, Jess here. She's our guitar player. And uh, actually met, met a drummer on Kijiji who introduced me to her. <laughs> we, we got rid of that guy, but... Uh, Stuck with Jess. Jess, it's the first time we met. She had a little recording studio in her basement, and I thought we were going to jam, and we ended up recording a full song, and that was pretty amazing. And then um, we kind of, yeah, pandemic kind of slowed us down a little bit. We weren't jamming as much, and then as things started opening up, uh, started uh, she basically headhunted the rest of the band. She was like, I think I got a drummer. And then a few months later, I got a text. I think I've had a bassist too. And then we just all kind of started playing together, and... I don't know. For me, I was very impressed. I think maybe my other bands, we uh, indulged a little bit too much and uh, things didn't get, get done very quickly, but I was showing these guys songs and by the next jam, we were like, they remember the songs. I was like, what? I thought we were going to go from square one again. And so I was immediately impressed by everybody. And um, uh, Jenna on bass here, she also does backing vocals, which I wasn't anticipating. And that is just one of my favorite things to have somebody sing with me. And I feel like it just takes the music to a whole other level when you have those harmonies. So. 
Yeah, absolutely. I was gonna, I was gonna make a joke about uh, you guys finding your band members from like a catalog of names that start with J, because oh, I was yeah. looking, yeah. and you're all starting with J. Yeah. That's okay. That's true. I forgot to mention that. that is, yeah. <laughs> it has to come up arbitrarily. Yeah, we got Julian, Jess, Jenna, and Jordan. So yeah. yeah so my name used to be Anna, but I had to add J in front to be in the band. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah, would be a requirement. Changed. Yeah, absolutely. Any yeah. new members will uh, have to be a J name as well. Exactly. <laughs> All right, uh, that's awesome that you guys were able to still be so productive, and it's clear that you guys are very excited about this project. You can hear it in the music, you can hear it in the way you talk, um, and I'm very excited for whenever you release new music. So speaking of new music, I do hear that you have something in the works. Would you like to speak to that a little bit? Yes. Um, so yeah, we were uh, planning on releasing the album February 2nd, um, had some things that have uh, delayed that, so the album is going to be coming out um, May 10th, um, and uh, February 2nd we are now going to be releasing um, our next single from the album Devil Will Catch You, and we'll be playing that one next. Um, and then we will be doing an album release uh, on May 11th, uh, it's actually going to be in my hometown of Lethbridge at the Owl Acoustic Lounge there. Uh, I believe 9 p.m., but uh, just follow us and look out for more details on that. Oh, that's awesome. So you spoke a little bit about um, how you guys work together musically. Um, what is your process like when you are writing music? This could be how you choose to put songs on the album or how you form your songs. Um, but, yeah, what is your process? Well... Well, it's been pretty simple so far. Like, uh, a lot of uh, the first album are songs that I've had kick around for, like, I don't know, some of them are probably, like, 15 years old. Like, old stuff that just never got recorded. Um, so a lot of that was just initially when we were jamming. It's like, oh, I like me remembering songs that I had and be like, here, how about this one? How about this one? And, you know, I never played them one when they're like, no, let's not do that one. So I guess they're <laughs> pretty good so far. So we've just... Yeah. It's been like that. Um, we're uh, with the new album. We're oh, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't released this one, but I mean, with new material that we're already working on, we've started <laughs> to uh, uh, do a little bit more collaboration. Uh, we have a song that Jenna brought in, where she sings the lead vocals, and I do harmonies. Uh, we've had a few uh, riffs that Jess has brought in. So, looking forward to being a little bit more collaborative. It was just kind of getting out the the backlog that I've had before. So. Yeah. Yeah, and that's great. Um, everybody has a different process, and you know, having a backlog of stuff to work on can can make things a little bit easier in some regards. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's absolutely wonderful. Um, so, with your album recording, we uh, talked a little bit about the process. Um, what was the most challenging part for you with recording your album and kind of getting it all together? Um, well, oh. I'll say something, and then I'll let Jess. <laughs> jump in because uh, we've recorded it all in her studio. She's yeah. kind of a little uh, do-it-yourself uh, engineer. Um, but the, what was the question? The toughest part, I think, was just doing it yourself. You have almost too much freedom, like too much time. Like mm -hmm. there's no like, okay, we you get one more take and you're out. It's like so just endlessly wanting to make it the best and just kind of having to accept like, no, this is good. I might hear something a little weird, but I trust these guys, so if they tell me a vocal take is good, I'll be like, all right, I'm just overthinking it. So um, if you want to jump in, Jess. Uh, hardest part is probably deciding when it's done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when it's good enough. And these guys made me let go of it at a certain point. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. so you can work on it forever. Yeah, but... we all have to step into one another and be like, no, that's good enough. You're done. Stop. You're done. Yeah. Especially yeah. with the mixing. It's just like, that could go on forever. Absolutely. Yeah, at some point you gotta you gotta step in and be like, all right, enough of your imposter syndrome. Yes. Like you're doing a great yes. job. Exactly. That's great. Yeah. yeah, it's it's wonderful that you guys all support each other like that. Um, I have a few more questions for you. Um, this one is very simple. What's the dream for Little Super Dangerous? Where do you want to see yourself in the future? Well, that's Ooh. a simple one. That's I know. A, <laughs> so far. Um, I, I, don't, I can't speak for everybody else, but personally, I think the dream would just be to be able to sustain yourself playing music. Doesn't necessarily mean, you know, selling out arenas everywhere, but just being able to be a working musician, I think, would be pretty incredible. So that's what I'd like to see. I don't know if anybody else has any thoughts. 
second that. Yeah. 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 Second, third, and fourth. Okay. We're all on the same page then. We're figuring this out together. Yeah, absolutely. To get paid for, you know, playing music, doing what you love, that would be the dream. <laughs> and I'm glad that you said that. <laughs> All right, uh, so now we're on the questions or a part of the interview where I like to ask artists uh, two questions. And that is the first one, uh, we'll start with that, is what are some or who are some local artists that you guys really love and would love to shout out right now? Um, well, I had some, but then when you mentioned uh, Chad Van Galen at the beginning, that totally triggered because obviously he's an absolute favorite. His uh, Album Light Information from 2017 is a masterpiece, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, but then for more local, I will say uh, Taylor, T-A-Y-L-R. She has an um, incredible voice. I always tell her that. And um, I think he's living in Red Deer now, but uh, Wyatt C. Lewis has mm -hmm. just re released a few new songs that have uh, brought a tear of joy to my eyes. So check them out. I don't know who else has some stuff. Uh, Cold Little Crow. Absolutely. So, uh, band that we all really love folk country band yeah. love um, them i'm still coming down off the high from that sergeant and comrade album the elephant in the room Ooh, that's a good one yeah. janet oh gosh <laughs> oh, <golly. laughs> like going through my list i'm like <laughs> how do i narrow it down <laughs> um there's a band they're like a three-piece rock band called even odds mm. um and we've played with them like they've played a couple gigs with us uh not this band but another band and uh yeah they're just really cool kids and i think they have a really cool thing going and i'm excited to see where they get there they seem to be doing really well so and i just gotta jump in and say also sunstroke so i'll give yeah. them a shout out uh they're a good friend of mine we used to be in a band together uh the guitarist and i and you may be listening so i don't want to <laughs> I want to hear it after this. Yeah. You got your shout out. <laughs> Sunstrokes, check them out. Awesome. Yeah, these are all great bands. And the last question here is advice for new musicians. So if you have any advice you can give to someone who is just starting out on an instrument for the very first time, what would you tell them? Uh, any, anybody want to go first? Or should I jump in? I think you're never going to be good enough, so just find some people and play with and have fun. Because you'll always get better if you're playing with other people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd say play with your friends. Um, yeah. You don't have to all love the exact same music. That part will come. And Yeah. Yeah. yeah and I'd say, uh, I don't know, I guess this is a little bit more advanced when, when you want to start playing and stuff. But just getting up in, like, low-pressure environments, um, like Cafe Koi, I felt was always a good place for that because you could get up for the open mic yeah. or whatever and play and like not you know everybody's going to be supporting you you're not going to get like any comments that make you not want to play anymore so i'm <laughs> yeah. um, doing that and uh a big part of my progression was just busking like playing out on the street and uh it's great because you're kind of performing but there's also periods where no one's around so you can be like all right i'm going to try the song that i wouldn't try if there's a mic and everybody could hear me mess up but if nobody's around i can try and give it you know try a new song see if it works and it was just a really good way to practice and it's just fun to be outside playing music so yeah absolutely well those are all great pieces of advice and yeah i want to say a big thank you for coming in today and you have two more songs here yes. so we will let you guys take it away thank you so much Right thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having us of this course incredible we haven't been here since you guys have got all the fancy new decorations yeah. and the the sign behind us, very classy. <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, so I said uh, earlier, this next song is Devil Will Catch You. Uh, this is going to be on the album coming out in May, but it is also the next single coming out on February 2nd. So follow us on Instagram, our website, Little Super Dangerous, Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you get your music, and keep an eye out, keep an eye out for that. This is Devil Will Catch You.
All right, that little devil will catch you. Uh, just taking a quick sip of water here. But... This next one is going to be our closer of the album. It's called Another Hallucination. I could find 